Hello, and um, welcome back to A Hermit's Hideaway with me, Benny Williams. Going to be doing something just a little bit different today from what I usually do. We're going to be playing a Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on where you are in the world, game. And I think this one was called Battle Mania. Yeah, it was. There we go. Battle Mania. I stumbled across this when I was testing out some, um, some Mega Drive games the other day. And I really, really enjoyed it. It seems like it's a Japanese exclusive. But from what I played of it, I really enjoyed it. So this is Wednesday the 16th. I try and get my videos out every Tuesday and every Friday of the week. I didn't have a chance to do it yesterday on Tuesday. So I thought, well, I'm going to try and get one out today and then try and get Friday done as usual. Try and get that sorted. And as you can see with this game, that it's a shoot 'em up, and you've got two female characters that have got jetpacks, and very, very cool game. I really like the way it's designed, the way it plays. It's kind of got that cute sort of, um, oh, what's, what's it called? Uh, Parodius, not, is it Parodius? It might be. It might be the other one that I'm thinking of. I think there's another one that's based on the games like Parodius. I can't think of the name right now. But. So anyway, I hope that the volume of the microphone is a lot better now and the sound quality. I found out the uh, blue snowball microphone that I used to use, which I got off my good friend Andy Godoy from when I used to podcast with him. So I found that out of my storage and I thought, well, since I found it, Oh, that was a quick run. I thought, since I found it, I'm going to try and get it back. Get back, try and get better quality, and obviously it's going to sound better than the other one. It's a blue snowball mic, but let's have another go at this game. Again, it's really hard to talk and play these games at the same time, especially when you've got so much that you want to say. And then you end up forgetting what you want to say because you're concentrating too much on the gameplay and what you're doing and controlling as well as trying to talk. But yeah, it might have been Parodius that I was thinking of because it's the parody of the games, isn't it? So yeah, I might have been right in the first place, perhaps. But obviously it's like a cutesy shoot -em up and what I really like is the bottom left character that's firing in a different direction. If you press uh, a different uh, button, which on the Super Nintendo, because I'm using the Super Nintendo pad to control it, which I'll explain in a little bit because you might think that's sacrile sacrilege being a Mega Drive game, but if you press the A button, it changes the direction of which the woman at the bottom is firing so you can fire in the same direction when it gets a bit more hectic and a bit crazier. I could do the, this side to get rid of these because they got me the last time and I wasn't doing so great. So why am I using a Super Nintendo control pad to play a Mega Drive game? You probably want to know. And because I'm emulating this anyway, I'm using the SF30 Pro by 8BitDo. Great, great pad. It doesn't, it, although it looks like a Super Nintendo pad, it doesn't quite feel like one. It's got the shape, but the, with the buttons and the responsiveness, the shoulder buttons, it's not quite. Um, it's, it's not quite got the right feel as much as I want it to. But it is an incredible control pad. I use it for playing on the Switch, I use it for PC gaming, and it's absolutely amazing for everything else. Um, so, because I'm using that and I'm emulating, that's basically why I'm using pretty much a SNES style controller. But one of the reasons that I'm not more of a Mega Drive or Sega fan is because I never really got on with the Mega Drive control pad. I really like the Master System control pad, the NES control pad. They're both awesome, they're perfect, they're both very responsive. 
had both grown up, also had both the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo grown up as well, so, you know, it's not just because I grew up with one console that I prefer one over the other, it's because I had both, and I always just preferred Super Nintendo, the control pad, the style, the games, the gameplay, so... You know, because of the control pad on the Mega Drive, always put me off a little bit. Um, I've tried to play games because I just never felt comfortable to play on the Mega Drive. And not as great or responsive as a Super Nintendo pad would or something else. So, I can tell you now that playing these Mega Drive games that I'm playing now through the SF30 Pro just feels a lot better, a lot more natural. Obviously there's so many games that I've missed out for on the Mega Drive now because of that preference of the pad and it just didn't feel right but now you know I get to play and experience more games for the first time, newer time even. So which is awesome and gonna have to please excuse the fan in the background. There's not much I can do about that because it's a heat ventilation system and the girlfriend told me that it's hooked up to the landlord's phone so he knows if if it's on or running in the background or not so it's not ideal but hopefully you can forgive me for the little bit of inconvenience but yeah I played this for the first time the other day and I just really really enjoyed what I played of it it's just a really good game a lot of fun and again, that you know, just a, it's a straightforward, easy shooter, really. Oh, this is the level that I got to, and those blades uh, killed me the last time. So obviously, just want to try and avoid those. Switch the bottom character's direction, so we have half a chance. But again, I really, really like that about about this game that you can switch the direction so you can help fire behind you a bit like when you get your power ups for R type and, and Parodius and stuff like that. It's a really good idea. Oh that hurt. But as I say, it's a bit of an obscure game because it's Japanese, so I don't think many people would have played it, but it's well worth playing and checking out, especially if you can emulate and you want to have a go for yourself and see what the game's like, because as I say, really enjoyable, really good game. And obviously nowadays there's so many varieties and, and options for emulation. Oh, and there we go, that's game over. So, I was going to say you've got the, the Mega Drive Mini and stuff like that nowadays, so well worth playing, well worth checking out. That was Battle Mania on the Sega Mega Drive. Great game. I'm really glad to be experiencing more sort of 16-bit era Mega Drive games because for me the 16-bit era was one of my favourite times, favourite generations and I absolutely love it. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video as usual, give us a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks very much.